G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here, and welcome back to another episode of Tech Tuesday, where every Tuesday we get together, we talk about some new, different, or just exciting technology in the FPV drone racing world. And today, from RunCam, we've got the Camera Control Adapter. Now, uh, this thing, it doesn't do anything super innovative or anything like that, but what it does do, it does well, and it lets you control and adjust your settings on your camera straight from your radio. Now, look, this might not be for most people out there, but I know there is a definite market for those races out there, you know, where you want the best of the best, you want to make sure that you've got the best chances of winning the race and you want that vision to be absolutely perfect because if you can't see, you can't fly and this bad boy right here, it's going to let you adjust your settings on the fly, you don't have to plug anything in extra to your quad. So what we're going to be doing, I'm going to stick it on the bench, have a quick squeeze because look, it's not too much to go over and then I'll show you it in action, how you can adjust your camera settings from your radio. Anyway, well, let's stick it on the bench and get started. Alrighty, here it is on the bench, you can see the little camera controller adapter board right here and it's only coming in at about half a gram so absolutely no reason you can't install this in any quad it's absolutely tiny now for the, now for those of you who are new to the hobby in the past if you wanted to change things if you wanted to change some camera settings you needed to plug it into a board like this so you plug your quads all plugged in ready to rock and roll you get this little extra adapter you push the buttons and that's how you go through and change the settings that let me tell you, is a big pain in the butt. I don't know many people whatsoever who really messed around with their camera settings because they just couldn't be bothered using this thing. This, on the other hand, if it's installed in your quad, is going to make it so much easier. And especially for those racers out there, you know, you want to get the best vision on the day. You might be overcast, it might be really sunny. This is going to let you change your settings on the fly. Now, what we should do, look, that's pretty boring because it lets you change your settings. That's it on the bench. What I want to do, I want to install it and then show you it in action and just how easy it is. So let's cut to what it looks like when it's in a quad in three two one all right change of plans i didn't actually put it into a quad i just wired it up i guess as an example so i'm going to put this to the side plug it in and then i'm going to show you on the radio what you can actually do with your camera and my desk is an absolute mess at the moment anyway so i've got my radio over here let's plug the little not the quad in but let's plug the little i guess device in all right so we're going to plug that in. You guys should be able to see a picture on there. Gee, who's that handsome fellow? Wait till this all clears. And then you simply need to go up to the right. And then we should enter our menu. There you go. And then this is exactly the same sort of stuff that you would see on the OSD if you were using the little button. This is freaking me out, seeing myself on the screen, on the screen, inception. <laughs> Anyway, so use these sort of use these sticks to go through and adjust everything. It doesn't feel like as responsive in my experience as the Betaflight OSD, but I'm sure we can still get there. But if you want, let's adjust our picture, see what we can do. Alrighty, this is kind of weird. I should be looking at this screen. Instead, I'm looking at the camera screen up here to sort of navigate through. So anyway, so you can see you've got a whole bunch of things, but let's pretend you, you know, you, it was, you needed a bit more contrast or it was a bit washed out or something or a bit bright. It's really easy how you can adjust this on the screen right there and you can see in time that's adjusting. That's going to be how easy it is. Do you know what I mean? You can do everything from your radio. So it doesn't offer, I guess, huge, crazy new things that we're used to, just a much, much easier way to do it. I'll flash a wiring diagram on the screen as well, but essentially all you're going to need is a, is a spare UART and then a five volt to power it. So that's that's it. And then you just connect up and you're ready to rock and roll. Righty, there it is. There's my Tech Tuesday quick look at RunCam's control adapter board. And look, I know it was very brief on the bench. We just had a quick squeeze at it because it doesn't do that much exciting stuff it's nothing new and groundbreaking you know we can always change our cameras the settings and those sorts of things but by being able to do it through the osd and doing it on your radio makes such a difference because in the past i very 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 rarely ever bothered to use my camera settings. Most of the time I was quite happy on default. They could be better, but I didn't want to be changing them all the time. Plugging that little extra board in, pressing the buttons was just a pain. But if you can jump into it and do it while you're actually on your quad with the goggles down, ready to rock and roll, you don't need to plug anything ex anything in extra and coming in at one gram, I'm going to totally see a market for this. I mean, like those expert racers out there, pro racers, people are flying in different lighting conditions. If that's how easy it is to change it on your radio, there's no reason not to use it and to give yourself that advantage. Now, hopefully this is going to become standard and built in to cameras going in the future, but it's great how this little adapter works with all the previous run cam cameras out there. And I've heard some of the Foxy ones are working as well. Now, one limitation you're going to have, you are going to need a spare UART on your board. It was super easy to wire up, but make sure you've got that spare UART. You need to pair it with five volts. I should have a wiring die. I'll link to like the run cam page down below anyway for some extra info. But I'd love to know what you guys think. Drop your comments down below. Subscribe for more FPV related content and as always
Happy flying. Oh, one thing I should also mention too, it doesn't come on when your quad is armed. So it's only when it's disarmed can you get into that menu. So you don't have to worry about it sort of coming up mid-flight or anything like that. And I'm going to leave a little bit of a bonus. I was talking to Cal about it, so I'll roll some footage at the end with Crash Test Cal about his thoughts about being able to control the camera through the OSD. Anyway, happy flying. But, you know, I'll give it a go and uh, because it offers that option, uh, it might be something I take advantage of. You know, obviously you get out to the field, the weather conditions vary hugely in terms of the amount of brightness in the sky and it being overcast and everything. So having that extra bit of functionality with one of these cameras could be handy. Okay. It really could be, yeah. But um, I think it's it's a good feature and if it's easily to, it's a feature that's easy to integrate with these cameras, then let's make it standard and default with all of them, yeah. But as it stands at the moment, if I want to do any camera adjustment above and beyond what I did in the initial setup, I can just do the adjustment on my, on on my goggles. Fat shark goggles. Yeah. Uh, nice. Thanks, Cal. No worries. I don't know when this video will be coming out, but uh, I'm sure you'll see it.